who is beyond the universe, something so powerful, so astronomically large, that he is totally and utterly beyond that capacity for us to even comprehend. Hence, it makes sense, you see, that something which has always existed has created the universe. So if you then ask, well, who created God? That is, in, in essence, a redundant question, because if we go, if we have an infinite past say, chain of events, we will never come into the present. So if there's a God and who created that God and who created that, that would go on forever. And hence, we would not come into the present. And isn't there like, say you've got your religion and you have a different religion and yeah. you believe in different gods, it's not just one God. Right, this is the, it's a very good point you've made. But in essence, an easy response. Right. All the world's religions, they actually espouse worshipping one God. Right. Then what we have in every religion, every religious scripture barring the Quran for the Muslims, is coming from a multitude of different authorship. Whereas the Quran claims to be the exact verbatim word of the Creator, God Almighty. But what happens then is all these world religions espouse one God. But the third party narrators, they then bring their own understanding of who that God is. So because of the fact there are a multitude of different authors, just say the New Testament. As, I mean, you've been born here, I expect. So as Christians, they believe in like Jesus as being God, which is a nonsensical belief that a man can possibly be God, even though he makes no such claims of being God in the Bible. This is a fascinating factor, you see, which is something that we one needs to consider. So in answer to your question, the Islamic narrative is that God is totally and utterly unlike his creation. He's not a man, he's not a woman, he's not an idol, he's not a statue. Does that make sense in that respect, at least in the concept of a creator? Excellent. So by that proxy, we then believe that a creator then creates us. And for example, this mobile phone, if you've never seen a mobile phone before, and also place it into your hand, but if you're a superhuman, you wouldn't fly off, but you want to, but because, <laughs> yeah, but you'd ask, but you say to me, okay, how do I operate this device? What do I have to give to you? And have it, you've never seen it. What do I have to give it to you? I have to give you instructions, don't I? A manual, how to operate it. Yeah, so we say the manual for life is that is, is the Quran. We say essentially the manual for life is scripture that God reveals to us. It makes no sense if a creator credits all this purposelessly, meaning for no purpose whatsoever. It makes perfect sense. He's created us. And he's not going to simply say, "I'll oh, get on with it in a few thousand years, and I'll judge you when, when the time takes my fancy." Rather, he wants us to lead a life according to his will. That is how we then draw close to that creator. Does that make sense? Now, because you said you're of atheist disposition, I hope I've been able to give you something to consider in terms of why so many religions, but essentially they all espouse one God. Islam claims to be. The f then your question about, um, you know. Uh, uh, being an atheist, but then I've tried to dismiss the, of the other possibilities, like an infinite regress of um, a past ch a chain of events, which never would lead to the, uh, to the present. We are all, co everything in existence is contingent upon something, except for, like, for example, me and you, we could have been born as females living in Uganda, as an example. But the fact that we are within that contingent set of things as we are, it doesn't necessarily have to be that way. So this, there needs to be something out of that contingent set of things which has initiated it, which has made it as we are. Does that make sense? Yeah, excellent. Yeah. So in essence, what we're observing is that there must be a creator who's created us for a reason and that for that very reason, we need to be um, this is just that some people are going to be putting it on film and you're going to be world famous, you are. So if you want to espouse your name, I'll no, give you the name of the station afterwards as well. No, and then you'll be a superhuman, you're a superhuman character as, as yourself. Character well, don't worry, we'll, we'll, we'll write to Warner Brothers and get you a contract, it'll sign up. I'm <laughs> oh, just joking. Okay, so in effect, what I'm offering you here is the more of a, that the plausibility of a creator far outweighs they're not being a creator because a universe from nothing is incomprehensible. There had to be something. The atoms, for example, within the universe made up, the whole universe is contained with atoms. Yes. Now, when they fuse into, a, into the nuclear aspect, then what we observe is that everything is done in, in an infinitesimally precise manner. Your two eyes that you see from, in addition to the superhuman eyes, that you are, are eyes that you would never give your eyes away. If I offered you 50 million quid for both of your eyes, and you could never, you'd never accept it. They've been given to us in a magnificent way. The air that we breathe, free of charge, all been given. So we need to show gratitude to that creator. 100 years ago, neither myself nor yourself were over here. Your superhuman might be here, but we weren't here. And in 100 years time, 
we may we 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 weren't here either. In the intermittent time, a reality persists as the world continues. And one day we're going to die, and we're going to be accountable to our Creator. Make sense? Yeah. Could I invite you to the clap house to give you a free copy of the Quran? I am. I'm okay. That's fine. I'm happy to listen to what your beliefs are. Thank you. Please consider it perhaps, and then you know we can perhaps touch base. We're here regularly on okay. Saturday at two from two thirty to eight thirty. Well, okay. I would listen to more, but I've got. I've actually got the piece. What's the name of your your kit? Uh, One Punch Man. It's called. One Punch Man. Oh, that's the series. Yeah. Wow. There's a little. Uh, there's, over here, they have this little. Uh, oh, well, I'm not strong. My right. character is, but I'm not. But, but you've seen the that little. Thing is this. No, that's it. Superman. You want to give everyone a smile on the on the yeah. camera? Hey guys, this is the One Punch Hero. Inshallah, Allah guide him. Great speaking to you. Take care of yourself. Take care. Take care. Bye bye. Take care.